what I'm going to do today, I've got a uh, AR-15 lower. I've stripped the trigger, the hammer, and the uh, selector out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a um, McCormick single stage trigger system. It's very simple to do. First of all, I'm going to put this in the lower receiver vice block so that it's held steadily and I don't have to chase it around the table. I'll do this anytime I'm working on uh, an AR-15 and not in the field. If I'm in the field, I don't have that luxury sometimes. Take the trigger, drop it into the receiver, and insert the uh, cross pins. Just a little jiggling to align it. You notice I've got the hammer cocked. If you don't have the hammer cocked, you're going to be fighting the hammer spring the entire time you're trying to put the pins in. I've inserted those by hand, so it's very easy to, to uh, put this trigger system in. Now I'm going to put a little tension on those pins because I don't want them to shift. I get my keepers. They're just little E-clips. They're just little half moon clips. Very small diameter. Uh, pins, so the half moon clips are very small. And uh, I'll just install these on the hammer and trigger pins. Now that we've got the uh, trigger in, we'll test it a little bit to make sure it's going to function properly. I'm going to put it back on the vice block and I'm uh, going to insert the selector in. This is relatively easy to do if you have the right tools. Just a uh, brass punch to push the plunger back down into the hole. Slide the uh, selector in. Test it for movement. Make sure there's no over travel. Ensure that the safety works properly with the trigger. There you have it. McCormick trigger is that easy to install.